Actual test two. Listening test. In the listening test, you will be asked to demonstrate how well you understand spoken English. The entire listening test will last approximately forty-five minutes. There are four parts, and directions are given for each part. You must mark your answers on the separate answer sheet. Do not write your answers in the test book. Part one. Directions. For each question in this part, you will hear four statements about a picture in your test book. When you hear the statements, you must select the one statement that best describes what you see in the picture. Then find the number of the question on your answer sheet and mark your answer. The statements will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Look at the example item below. Now listen to the four statements. A. He is looking at the monitor. B. He is cleaning his desk. C. He is writing in a notebook. D. He is decorating the office. Statement C. He is writing in a notebook. Is the best description of the picture, so you should select answer C and mark it on your answer sheet. Now, part one will begin. Number one, look at the picture marked number one in your test book. A, the man is holding a pencil. B, the man is sipping a cup of coffee. C, the man is wearing a short-sleeved shirt. D, the man is reading a newspaper. Number two. Look at the picture marked number two in your test book. A. Various goods are laid out for sale. B. The orchard is full of fruit. C. The fruits are being placed in bags. D. The fruits have been piled in a truck. Go on to the next page. Number three, look at the picture marked number three in your test book. A. They are watching a sports event. B. They are turning on the computer. C. They are checking information from reference books. D. They are looking at a computer monitor. Number four, look at the picture marked number four in your test book. A. There are some pedestrians crossing the road. B. There are trees on both sides of the road. C. The road is jammed with traffic. D. Cars are parked on only one side of the road. Number five. Look at the picture marked number five in your test book. A. The man is balanced on a ladder. B. The man is painting a picture. C. The man is reading a sign on a building. D. The man is hanging from some cables. Number six. Look at the picture marked number six in your test book. A. A worker is loading cargo onto a plane. B. People are seated on an airplane. C. A set of stairs has been pushed up to a plane. D. There are several airplanes at the terminal. Go on to the next page. Number seven. Look at the picture marked number seven in your test book. A. She is hanging up her coat on a rack. B. She is shopping for clothes. C. She is holding her bag in her hand. D. She is wrapping up the clothes. Number eight. Look at the picture marked number eight in your test book. A. They're dressed in identical uniforms. B. They're walking through the forest. C. They're all carrying bags on their shoulders. D. They're taking a walk in the country.
Number 9. Look at the picture marked number 9 in your test book. A. There's a lamppost next to the railroad. B. A train is entering the station. C. The area is heavily wooded. D. A car is driving along the road. Number 10. Look at the picture marked number 10 in your test book. A. The man is speaking into a microphone. B. The man is putting away his trumpet. C. The man is playing the musical instrument. D. The man is waving at the audience. Go on to the next page. Part 2 Directions You will hear a question or statement and three responses spoken in English. They will be spoken only one time and will not be printed in your test book. Select the best response to the question or statement and mark the letter A, B, or C on your answer sheet. For example, you will hear, Where did you buy your tie? You will also hear A. Next time we'll do better. B. At the downtown shopping center. C. We'll move to a new building soon. The best response to the question, Where did you buy your tie? is choice B. At the downtown shopping center. So B is the correct answer. You should mark answer B on your answer sheet. Now let us begin with question number 11. Number 11. What time does our flight leave? A. By 3 o'clock. B. About 3 or 4 times a day. C. Is scheduled to take off at 7.30. Number 12. Where did you leave your glasses? A. By taxi. B. In my office. C. At 9 a.m. Number 13. When will the presentation be over? A. Okay, see you then. B. Over there in the hall. C. In about two hours. Number 14. Why were you late for the supervisor's workshop? A. The road construction held me up. B. I'm working until 6 today. C. Yes, the supervisor asked me yesterday. Number 15. How will I recognize the guide? A. It's available. B. Yes, we can make it. C. She'll be waiting near exit 8. Number 16. Do you want me to install the operating system? A. No, it should be delivered on time. B. No, I'll do it myself. C. That is quite a large operation. Number 17. Would you prefer iced tea or lemonade? A. Yes, I can. B. In a refrigerator. C. Ice tea, please. Number 18. Why don't you complain about the delay? A. It was delayed over two hours. B. Yes, it's very convenient. C. I think I will. Number 19. What is Miss Lydia's email about? A. I haven't checked yet. B. Five days ago. C. We've already mailed it. Number 20. Do you have the product evaluation form? A. Fill out the evaluation. B. No, I left it on my desk. C. He works in an advertising firm. Number 21. Why is that door locked? A. In the safe. B. Yes, near the exit door. C. It's a restricted area.
Number 22. The final reports are in the cabinet, aren't they? A. I'm not sure. B. Yes, he's in a meeting right now. C. We need more reporters. Number 23. Who designed the booth for this year's exhibition? A. By the end of next month. B. To the design department. C. One of my co workers did. Number 24. Isn't that grocery store open yet? A. No, it's not my fault. B. No, I think it usually opens at 9 o'clock. C. I haven't read it yet. Number 25. Where is the working capital coming from? A. From headquarters. B. Yes, for the next few months from now. C. It's not expensive. Number 26. Let's check the chart one more time before our meeting. A. I have already looked it over twice. B. We should submit it on time. C. He's leaving to take the chart. Number 27. It's expected to rain tomorrow, isn't it? A. The report is due tomorrow. B. No, I haven't seen it. C. No, it's going to be sunny. Number 28. Have you finished writing the monthly report? A. Please write clearly. B. It's almost complete. C. Yes, it'll be finished by Monday. Number 29. Doesn't Mr. Tanaka work in the personnel department? A. No, I'm not here anymore. B. Yes, I prefer to walk. C. No, he retired two weeks ago. Number 30. Let's not make revisions until we get more accurate information. A. Oh, I think we already have enough data. B. No, I like the fresh air. C. I don't know how to make it. Number 31. Who won the contract to build the new bicycle path? A. Yes, we don't expect to win this year. B. Creative construction. C. Congratulations. Number 32. Should complaint forms be sent to the manager or the consumer affairs department? A. Yes, I agree with you. B. The customers were very upset. C. It depends on the nature of the problem. Number 33. When does the editorial department issue the newsletter? A. By registered writers. B. On the last day of the month. C. A parking permit was issued yesterday. Number 34. We've just purchased several new copiers, haven't we? A. Yes, we ordered them over the internet. B. It's included in the purchase price. C. Cream and sugar. Number 35. Where do you think is the progress report? A. It progressed more rapidly. B. I put it in the cabinet by the door. C. They will report your records every week. Number 36. I'm going on my coffee break. A. Thanks, but I don't need any help. B. A mechanic will fix it. C. I'll join you. Number 37. You are planning to attend the formal computer training session today, aren't you? A. No, I couldn't see the training schedule yesterday. B. It's compulsory, isn't it? C. New computers for new employees. Number 38. How did you get such a good price on the office furniture? A. We got a special discount. B. I took a taxi to the theater. 
C. Yes, she's at the office. Number 39. This local map is really complicated. A. I'm not really good at comparing figures. B. Nearly one week ago. C. Where are you trying to go? Number 40. Are you finished with that market research report or do you need more time? A. Give me another hour or so. B. The store closes at 5 o'clock. C. All the trains are on time. Part 3. Directions. You will hear some conversations between two people. You will be asked to answer three questions about what the speakers say in each conversation. Select the best response to each question and mark the letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet. The conversations will be spoken only one time and will not be printed in your test book. Questions 41 through 43 refer to the following conversation. My internet service is so slow, it's really affecting my work. I think it's time that I change internet providers. You should contact Rogers Incorporated. That's the company that I use. They have great service staff and their technical support is the best in the industry. Thank you for the suggestion. I'll keep that in mind. And when you call, don't forget to mention my name. They'll give you a new contract discount and credit my account for referring a friend. Number 41 what is the man's problem? Number 42. Why does the woman recommend Rogers Incorporated? Number 43. What does the woman ask the man to do? Questions 44 through 46 refer to the following conversation. Maria, were you able to ship the product for the customer's order in time for delivery? No. The shipping office was closed this morning. I've already faxed them twice this afternoon to remind them. Would you please try calling them? I have to contact the customer this evening, and I'd like to let him know when the delivery will arrive. Okay. I will do it right away. Number 44. What did Maria do this afternoon? Number 45. Why would the man like Maria to make a phone call? Number 46. Why are the speakers concerned? Go on to the next page. Questions 47 through 49 refer to the following conversation. Angela, I've just confirmed the departure times and it looks like our train will be delayed a couple of hours. It's now expected to leave at 7 o'clock. That's a big problem. We won't arrive in London in order to make our 9 o'clock meeting with our partners. It will be okay. I was going to contact them anyway to confirm that they received the documents I couriered earlier today. All right. So you can let them know our situation. Number 47. When is the train supposed to leave the station? Number 48. What is the woman concerned about? Number 49. Why was the man planning to contact the partners? Questions 50 through 52 refer to the following conversation. Good afternoon. I am here to deliver two parcels for Carl Michaels. Is this his office? Yes, but Mr. Michaels is out of town on business. 
However, he should be back this afternoon. Are you able to sign for the documents, or would you prefer that I return in a couple of hours? I can sign for them. Just put the packages on the desk. Number 50. When does the man offer the return? Number 51. Where is Mr. Michaels? Number 52. What are the speakers talking about? Questions 53 through 55 refer to the following conversation. Welcome to Mitchell's. Do you want to hear about our specials today? I don't know what I feel like, so what would you recommend for lunch? Well, our club sandwich is very popular, and I particularly like the chicken fingers that come with curly fries. Does that sound good? Or shall I name some other options? I think I'll look over the menu one more time before I order. While I'm thinking, could you get me a chocolate milk? Number 53. Where most likely are the speakers? Number 54. What does the woman ask the man to do? Number 55. What will the woman probably do next? Questions 56 through 58 refer to the following conversation. Hello, I'd like to apply for a credit card. Do you have any identification containing both your address and signature, sir? Yes, of course. Here's my driver's license. Do you require any other forms of ID? No, this driver's license is good enough. Why don't you start filling out this form while I photocopy your driver's license? Number 56. What would the man like to do? Number 57. What did the man provide the woman with? Number 58. What will the woman do? Questions 59 through 61 refer to the following conversation. So, Sarah. Has the bank contacted you since your interview with them? Yes, they phoned this morning. They want me to meet with the vice president of the company next Monday. That's wonderful news. What time is the interview? They wanted to meet in the afternoon, right after lunch, but I asked if I could have the interview in the morning instead. Number 59. What's the main topic of the conversation? Number 60. When will Sarah meet with the vice president? Number 61. What request did Sarah make regarding her second interview? Questions 62 through 64 refer to the following conversation. Ms. Jeffrey, I won't be able to attend the seminar on Friday, so could you take notes for me? No problem, Mr. Pauls. Are you finally going on that vacation you've been talking about? No, unfortunately not. I have to leave for New York tomorrow morning to meet with our new client. We'll be discussing negotiations for the contract at his office, so I'll need a few extra days to finalize things. Wow, good luck with the talks. I heard that the Johnson Johnson contract would bring in a lot of revenue. I'll let you know if they discuss anything important at the seminar on Friday. Number 62. What would the man like the woman to do? Number 63. Where is Mr. Pauls going tomorrow?
Number 64. What does the woman infer about Johnson and Johnson? Questions 65 through 67 refer to the following conversation. Ms. Diaz, we'd like to introduce the Spanish edition of Marketing a Successful Product by the end of the quarter. That would mean I would have less than a month to complete the translation. That won't be enough time to translate a 75 page article. Well, we may be able to delay the publishers a couple of extra weeks. Would that be better for you? If I dedicate myself exclusively to the project, five weeks could be possible. Number 65. Who most likely is Miss Dias? Number 66. What would Miss Dias like from the men? Number 67. How will Miss Dias make the due date? Questions 68 through 70 refer to the following conversation. Did you see the review written up about Tangy Bangkok? It sounds like it has the best Thai food in town. I read the article, but I don't know if I agree. I had lunch there with Bill this past Monday. The food was just so so, and the service could have been much better. Wow, that's surprising. What did you think of the atmosphere? The write up said it was really fun. Yes, it was quite unique. But it doesn't make up for the outrageous prices and average dishes. Number 68. What type of business is being talked about? Number 69. How did the man learn about the business? Number 70. What did the woman like about the business? Go on to the next page. Part 4. Directions. You will hear some short talks given by a single speaker. You will be asked to answer three questions about what the speaker says in each short talk. Select the best response to each question and mark the letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet. The talks will be spoken only one time and will not be printed in your test book. Questions 71 through 73 refer to the following telephone message. Miss Damon, This is Peter Bedford calling from the Air Italia Airlines Security Desk. I am happy to inform you that we have located your baggage from flight AI 893. We will be delivering it to the Nardisi Hotel. I believe this is your location while you're staying in Rome. The delivery should arrive this afternoon before 4 pm. Should you have any questions, please contact me at 1888 567-4FLY. We sincerely apologize for any inconvenience this may have caused you, and thank you once again for your continued patronage. Number 71. What is the man calling about? Number 72. Where can Ms. Damon expect to receive the delivery? Number 73. When can Ms. Damon expect the delivery? Questions 74 through 76 refer to the following announcement Good evening, shoppers. Our store will be closing in 10 minutes. Please take all of your purchases to the nearest cashier counter and don't miss out on our specials available in the cleaning products section. All laundry detergents are at 25% off the original sticker price. The customer service desk is now closing. Should you have any questions, please ask to speak to the manager on duty, Ms. Barbara Henderson.
We're pleased to announce that our regular business hours have been extended to serve all your shopping needs. Beginning next Monday, our new hours of operation will be 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. every day of the week. We'd like to thank you once again for choosing Bargain Hunters, and we look forward to serving you again. Number 74. Why is the announcement being made? Number 75. Who should customers ask questions to? Number 76. What change will be introduced next week? Questions 77 through 79 refer to the following talk. Welcome to Pelham Morrison. My name is Cameron, and I will be serving you this afternoon. We have two special dishes prepared by our chef this lunch. I would highly recommend both the sun dried tomato and feta stuffed chicken or the wild rice stuffed bell peppers. Both items are priced at $17 and are served with a cup of soup and a side salad. Our pastry chef has also added an item to the dessert menu. It's a lavender infused mousse cake served with chilled whipped cream for $8. Would you like something to drink while you are making your decisions? Number 77. Who most likely is the speaker? Number 78. What accompanies the special dishes? Number 79. How much does the lavender mousse cake cost? Questions 80 through 82 refer to the following announcement. Good morning. As director of the Phases Company Marketing Department, I am happy to announce today some great news. Our company has achieved record sales this quarter, a jump of nearly 15%. I believe this growth is directly related to the excellent advertising our team developed to promote the new product line. I am confident that you will be thrilled to hear that due to the positive growth, all phases company employees will receive an increase in their yearly bonuses. Number 80. Who is the speaker? Number 81. What is this announcement about? Number 82. According to the announcement, what will staff members receive? Questions 80 through, through 85 refer to the following radio report. Good evening. This is Delena Miles at PRCK Light Jazz, your favorite jazz music station. I wanted to remind all of you that Kevin Onawa, a renowned pianist, will be performing with the Toronto Symphony Orchestra tomorrow night. At 89 years old, Mr. Onawa will be the oldest member to ever perform a piano solo alongside the famous group. The concert will be aired on PRCK Light Jazz from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. We are also thrilled to announce that Mr. Onawa will join us here at PRCK Light Jazz Friday morning. Be sure to remember to listen to this once in a lifetime interview. That's Friday morning at 9 a.m. Number 83. Who is the subject of this report? Number 84. How old is Mr. Onawa? Number 85. At what time on Friday will Mr. Onawa's interview be on the air? Questions 86 through 88 refer to the following introduction. Ladies and gentlemen, we are extremely honored to have tonight's guest speaker here with us. 
I'm sure I don't have to remind you of Dr. Nathan East's most prominent works, including his research on the effects of global warming. After listening to Dr. East speak at the Global Environment Agenda in Tokyo last summer, I asked him to present here tonight, though I was surprised to hear that he would be interested in speaking to such a small group like ours. Dr. East's talk tonight is entitled Simple Ways to Reverse the Effects of Global Warming. We are pleased to have you with us, Dr. East. Number 86. Who is Nathan East? Number 87. How does the speaker know Nathan East? Number 88. What does the speaker say about the audience? Go on to the next page. Questions 89 through 91 refer to the following broadcast. Good evening. Thank you for joining us here at Gossip Central. I'm Jenny Jenkins. We have a special guest with us here in the studio today, Ms. Sarah Pauly, director of the hit movie Jumping Through Hoops. Actors and producers alike have praised Ms. Pauly's directorial debut as reaching new heights in Hollywood. The storyline of this film mirrors the hardships that Sarah herself has faced throughout her life. After many years of struggling in the film industry, it looks as though Ms. Sarah Pauly has finally caught a break. So, Ms. Pauly, how did you stay motivated over nearly a decade? Ten years can seem like a lifetime. Many people would have given up after just five years or so. Number 89. What is Gossip Central? Number 90. Who is Sarah Pauly? Number 91. How long has Ms. Pauly worked in her industry? Questions 92 through 94 refer to the following advertisement. Good morning. This is Christina from Jiffy Lube Car Services. We've been a member of the Better Business Bureau for over five years, and we're proud to announce the grand opening of our new and improved store. That's right, we've expanded. We still offer the same great service on oil changes, tire rotation, alignment, and windshield repair. To celebrate the grand opening of our new store, we are offering a special discount. Only this weekend, purchase any discounted service package and receive a free oil change. If you would like more information or to book an appointment, please call us at 679-7310. Number 92. What kind of company is being advertised? Number 93. What has the company recently done? Number 94. What do customers receive this weekend only with the purchase of a service package? Questions 95 through 97 refer to the following news report. Next up at 6 o'clock, a special look at health care. But first, at the city courthouse today, members of the community met with local law enforcement officials to discuss the growing problem of violence. Domestic disputes were the main area of concern. The police force is considering a zero tolerance policy with regards to arrests. Many supporters of the decision feel that it will help to make the community a safer place. And judges believe it will reduce the number of cases brought to court. However, a few upset citizens join the talks downtown to raise concerns about the possibility of false accusations and wrongful arrests. Number 95. Where did the meeting take place? Number 
What was the subject of the gathering? Number 97. Why were some people against the talks? Questions 98 through 100 refer to the following telephone message. Hello, Bob. This is Wanda St. Pierre from Parking Services. I wanted to inform you that the parking garage will be under repairs beginning on Tuesday while some issues with the facilities are taken care of. The project should require three days and the area should be available by Friday. I realize that many of your employees drive to work, so please apologize for any inconvenience this may cause them. A shuttle bus will be provided from the main entrance each morning and afternoon on Wednesday and Thursday. Let me know if you have any downtown meetings, and I should be able to arrange transportation. Number 98. What is being worked on? Number 99. When is the parking garage available again? Number 100. How does Miss St. Pierre offer to help? This is the end of the listening test.